Good morning. Well, I just wanted to touch base this morning and say, first of all, thank you very much for all the beautiful well wishes regarding the passing of my sister and also my uh, 75th birthday. It's uh, overwhelming to hear all the comments, to see all the likes and all the best wishes. So uh, thanks an awful lot. I've tried to respond to uh, different people uh, in different ways, but I figured this morning I would just try and do, and they keep changing the apps and they keep changing things. So I tried a few times on uh, my desktop computer and now went back to my uh, trusty iPhone and uh, just wanted to say um, thanks a lot to everybody. It's uh, been an interesting ride over the last number of uh, uh, weeks, should I say. It started out with uh, getting tested uh, positive for COVID after I realized I was quite sick, and uh, yet I wasn't, uh, I wasn't as sick as many people that get uh, COVID. I did have the vaccinations. I, I didn't get a fever, and I didn't uh, have the uh, breathing problems, but I did lose my taste for about 10 to 12 days and uh, still recovering as far as energy is concerned. But at the same time, it's, uh, it's great. Uh, my uh, sister Alma uh, passed away last week, Tuesday. We had her uh, family had the devotional service on Saturday night, which was absolutely exceptional. And then we had the funeral service and the burial yesterday afternoon, which also happened to be my 75th birthday, you bet, on Halloween. And I need to retell this story uh, when Laurel, our youngest daughter, was maybe five or six, uh, we walked into the co-op cafe here in Winkler on the day of my birthday. I think it was a Saturday morning. And uh, to celebrate, you know, we did that so often as families. We'd go out for breakfast, and instead of having many parties, we would sometimes celebrate a couple. But this was on Halloween. And as we walk in, my, uh, the server asks uh, my daughter, she says, what's the occasion? Well, uh, Laurel, in her kind of growl, quiet voice, said, it's my dad's birthday, and it's on Halloween every year. <laughs> okay, well, I uh, just wanted to do an update, and uh, I haven't been walking outside or riding my bike because when I tested positive and I felt the way I did, my family doctor, Dr. L. Schrader, uh, bless his heart, been with our family probably since the early 80s, uh, born-again believer. We can pray together, and, and uh, I left him a message on the Sunday morning that I tested positive, and he called me back, and uh, he went through uh, all, all the things we would have done, except we couldn't do it physically, but we could do it uh, via telephone, and he asked me a bunch of questions, and then he told me, he says, Harry, you're doing the right things. But at the same time, let's just say that your double vaccination may have pretty well saved your life, or at least not letting you get as sick as some of the other people have. So, uh, yeah, a couple of things. Uh, you know, uh, the vaccine doesn't stop you uh, from getting the virus, and uh, it doesn't stop you from spreading the virus. But for most people, they simply don't get nearly as sick. So I'll just leave it at that because I'm not getting into any kind of discussion. If you're going to challenge me on some of those things, you can do that personally, but it's not going to happen on Facebook because I'm thankful to the vaccinations. I'm thankful to the medical uh, system that has helped me through so many, and especially Dr. Schrader and and uh, and so uh, why would I not trust him now when I've trusted him for 25, 30 years through heart surgeries and other surgeries and other illnesses in the family? So, uh, hey, I just uh, thank you for uh, the support and uh, I am blessed. This is uh, my 51st year as a farm journalist and uh, if the good Lord tarries and I don't uh, uh, lose any of my faculties that I need to do these kinds of things. I'm going to continue on as a farm journalist. And my wife, Judith, and I, uh, we attended the uh, 
uh, a Banff Pork Seminar, which is a really good place for hog industry people to meet. And we attended it probably five, six times in Banff. Hadn't for a number of years, but I'm going this year to the Banff Pork Seminar. It's going to be my winter vacation. And I'm looking forward to meeting colleagues and friends and just continuing to cover the agricultural industry, at least the pork sector. This morning, I have a chance to visit with Rick Prigé. Rick, uh, I got to know in the ball field. Uh, way back when, 2004, 2005, uh, we, we moved to Winkler, and I uh, uh, was already a fastball umpire, and I got certified so I could do the real stuff. And uh, Notre Dame uh, had this pitcher and a catcher. Rick was the pitcher, Rick Prigé. He's a hog producer from Notre Dame. His son, Johnny, was the catcher, and it was... Uh, was awesome. They were both really good. And uh, last week, two of the producer meetings that Manitoba Pork Council held, Rick is now the chair of Manitoba Pork Council. So I had a chance to visit with him today about his industry, about his own farm, and uh, what he sees happening as far as the things they're going to do as a pork council going forward. So anyway, it's uh, it's a great time. I, uh, I had a busy time yesterday. I want to say uh, hats off to uh, Clay Young at CJOB. <laughs> we did an early uh, Halloween birthday and farm report yesterday morning. And uh, then at 9.30, I have the privilege of preaching at the uh, uh, Garden Park uh, Estates in, in the service that we've been conducting for a number of years. And... Uh, and then in the afternoon, of course, we had the uh, uh, funeral for my sister Alma, and a blessed time it was. And then I went home, picked up a Dairy Queen ice cream cake, and had celebrated my birthday with my grandchildren, daughter, and son-in-law. And, uh, well, what a time we had. Couldn't get any better. Josh, I mean, all the, I got hugs from everybody, and it's so good. Well, let's uh, just uh, continue on with our day's work. I appreciate being able to come live, and I'm hoping I'm going to get back to the Bethel Heritage Park from time to time and do it from there. But uh, it's, a, it's a blessing. It's a real blessing to be able to come on uh, back. And, uh, hey, uh, it's, uh, thanks again. I see uh, John R. Davies uh, making a comment. Good to see you're on the mend, Harry. Uh, we need uh, reporters. You know what? I love doing that. After my wife passed away on May 18, 2018, I went for a walk to the Bethel Heritage Park two days after the funeral. I got a clear message saying, Harry, get back to work. And boy, did I get back to work. I write for three farm papers across Canada, the Ontario Farmer, the Agra Post, which I helped start back in uh, two, uh, 2000, together with my brother-in-law, Henry Dick, and, uh, of course, Dan Gatry, who owns it and publishes the paper. And then uh, Lori Brandley, who uh, owns and operates the Prairie Hog Country. I think we're in our 26th year, and I don't know if, I don't think I've missed an issue uh, in that particular publication. And so, God be praised, he blesses us if we allow him to bless him, and to serve him. Have yourself a great morning, and take care, and I'll try and do this again soon. This is Seaman Says, somewhere, sometime, somehow, I will see you again, and God bless. <laughs>